Hi, thanks for joining me for this episode of Dyslexia Solutions. Your comments and questions really do help uh, steer my topics. I've given so much information and I was just kind of struggling with what else should I share? I've interviewed a lot of people, but somebody messaged me on Facebook today and they asked me specifically about the app. And Alicia Byers has given me permission to share her, her questions. She has a 14 year old daughter named Bella and they have been using the app CDSM and they use many other tools to help uh, Bella in a high school home set, homeschool setting. So Bella didn't know how to uh, read. She's reading better now. Her spelling needs work, but she's spelling a lot better. And Alicia shared that they use many tools to help her with her um, homeschooling, but she wanted specifically to ask about the app because she noticed that the app has a restriction of age 17 or above. And I thought that was interesting because when I created the app or had it created for me uh, over three years ago, it was strictly intended to be used with my reading program. So it was intended that kids would be with a tutor, with a teacher, with their parents. And um, there are so many hoops you have to jump through to remove a restriction of an app for kids. And this is, isn't a game. It is a teacher-led app or a, a parent-led app because you don't want to just send your... First of all, I can't imagine a student taking a spelling app and being motivated to do it on their own. Usually they need the parent to say, you need to do your homework, try this app. It's going to really help you, right? So the other thing was when it's intent when it was intended to use with my reading program, the kids are using learning different strategies to build to use the app. So they're learning how to um they're first of all, as my videos have showed many, many times, phonogram cards, then sound circles, and then plastic letters. And then um we do workbook activities, we do reading activities for auditory and visual discrimination, and um I just saw my patch here. This is my patch to talk to you about um, mental clarity for and for kids and stamina and strength. I have to talk to you about it at the end, but I just, it distracted me. Isn't that interesting? So, um, so when the kids learn all these different phonemic awareness skills, then we give the spelling exercises one by one. And when we use the sound circles and the letters, we're actually using them for the specific selling, spelling test. So spelling test one will have three letters. Spelling test two will have three letters with a blend in it. Spelling test three will have four letters, four letters with a blend for test two and three and, be, and so on and so on. So when we teach syllables, words with syllables, we're actually using the manipulatives, which is the multisensory uh requirement to help dyslexic children. So I asked Alicia, how can she be successful with a spelling app if she's not using that multi-sensory approach to learning reading? And she mentioned that there are other um, tools that she's pulling together and she actually does use an Orton Gillingham workbook that um, will actually target specific skills, which is very important for dyslexic kids. And, um, but she is, her daughter is having success with spelling. So basically I told her that there's a lot of expense to even change in a requirement on the app. And I'm not even sure um, the app would even be available because I don't know if I would be able to satisfy all the requirements they have for kids to be able to use the app. Not even, I don't mean young kids, but even middle school kids, age 14 or 15, um, beginning high school. because So what was really interesting is Alicia assured me that um, her daughter Bella is in the house with either her and also her older sister is helping her. So sometimes older siblings don't have um, some work or jobs to do. So they're very willing to help the kids in the home. And that is amazing. What, a, what an amazing supportive family that Bella has. So as her sister is working with her, her sister's old enough to use their phone to release, you know, to, to be using, um, not have the restriction on her phone. But I did talk to Alicia and said that 
Um, you know, you never know what's going to pop up on the phone when kids don't have that restriction. And she agreed. And she said, yeah, things come up on the phone. And that's why there's so much protection for our kids to keep them safe. So as we leave that restriction there, I know it poses a different problem for older kids. And um, so if an adult or an older sibling is older than 17 and doesn't have restrictions on their phone, they can use their phone to help their younger sibling. And it's amazing. So I another thing Alicia pointed out was that um, her daughter has a spelling list, a word list of over a hundred words. So I was talking to her about um, targeting specific skills and my YouTubes do target many specific Orton Gillingham skills. One of the skills is a floss skill, floss words. So floss words are words that end with double F, double L, double S. And I teach this in my Orton Gillingham training. I, it's, I introduce it in my level one training that uses my music app. My Orton Gillingham training doesn't use the music app because it's very strictly Orton Gillingham based, but I have them both available. But um, I wanted to point out to her that if she can look at the school spelling list to find three skills that, uh, whether they're TH words, words that have a TCH, words that have a um, SH, find three skills and try to explicitly teach those skills because that's what a dyslexic child needs. And I'm going to be doing that also with one of the students that I'm tutoring for my home. The parent asked, uh, can we bring the class spelling list? And I said, absolutely. Because in my reading program, while I teach um, grammar skills, I can easily bring that component in and teach those skills to help the child in the classroom. So um, I wanted to say that about the app. And I wanted to say any parent can be trained in my reading program. You can be trained how to work with dyslexic children, how to work with your other students if you want to tutor and expand your own business. Um, I also wanted to say you can purchase, you can, you can download my the spelling list to accompany the app on my website. And on Teachers Pay Teachers, if I don't have the spelling list up there now, I will put it up there. Teachers Pay Teachers, look for Dyslexia Solutions, look for Orrin Gillingham. You can find it on my website. Everything is in my website and will take you to it. So just look under our stores or pro stores. And you can also order my workbook that helps with phonema, with um, auditory and visual processing, where we play music in the left ear as a child is reading. So um, I was so proud of this parent that found me right away. She was searching for help for her daughter, found me on Google and went right to see if found my Facebook page. I wanna encourage you to do that. And I know technology can be pretty overwhelming for people. I had to have my daughter even remove one of my extra Instagram profiles that I created because I thought all my contacts would merge and they didn't. So suddenly I'm being notified of new people and new friends on, on our flag distribution by Junior Patriots. And I didn't really want to do that. So she deleted that. And I want to have my Instagram be about dyslexia and helping dyslexic kids. So um, find me on Facebook and I do have some groups. And if you message me, I can add you to my email list. And when I send these videos out, you're going to be the first ones to see them. So um, what we have is curriculum. What we have is the app. It's CDSM. And I've got the teaching videos. I was thinking of... Uh, renaming some of those Orton Gillingham videos with an Orton Gillingham playlist. So you can specifically look for the TCH or the GH or whatever lesson I've taught. You can actually see that in a playlist. That's going to uh, be on my calendar and my schedule to fit that in. And um, that's it. I want to just share about the app. I'm going to have a video. Uh, I have recorded videos how to use the app. Uh, the parent asked, is there a description how to use it? Because the child didn't know how to use it. And I do have a video that shows how to use it and how you can change it up for older kids and younger kids and even second language learners. 
I thought a fun fact that the parents shared was that one of the trends of the high school kids is that if they're in different languages, learning dual languages, they're actually finding children videos that have the subtitles and the, they say them in the different language to teach. And I saw that when um, I was watching Coco Melon with my granddaughter and it jumped into subtitles for French. And I spoke French in um, college and I loved it. It actually uh, springboarded me to go to France and be in the culture. It was so exciting. So to see um, the children's cartoons with the French language being taught again, I mean, that was a reminder to me. If you're in a foreign language, find a children's video and get the subtitle in that foreign language. Let them build those foundational skills in that language. So saying all that, I want to talk to you about this patch. If you or your child needs memory and focus and stamina, if your child has ADHD or has seizures, I was introduced to this patch, 30, it's X39 patch. It stimulates your own stem cells and helps rejuvenate, it activates over 4,000 stem cells. So you get deeper sleep, better focus and concentration. And I'm just encouraging parents to try this for your kids. Uh, there's a lot of, there's the research that's been done and uh, kids are, you wear this patch for 12 hours and then you take it off for 12 hours, put a new patch on the next 12 hours. I wear mine from nine to nine. And um, anyway, that's amazing. And I'm gonna be talking a lot about health for kids and how we can help improve kids health and, and focus, right? And it relieves anxiety and stress. So try it. And you could find that at no-pills.com. So my ask is we are looking for donors to make a donation on our website so I can continue to get these messages out. I have a vision and a dream to help 300,000 dyslexic kids learn to read. And I want to help 60,000 teachers or tutors work with these kids. So... Yeah. Oh my goodness. So I have a, a a dream to help, you know, you, you can turn everything off and plug everything. And there's this one thing that so much technology in our offices. So anyway, um, it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, if we could have a sponsor, any amount would help. I'll have a link of a, a PayPal charitable link. You could make a donation. Any amount would help. And that's going to help um, get the vision out and, you know, get my, get the funding to achieve the vision. We've had opportunities to write grants and they're pretty overwhelming. And a lot of times you need a retainer to have somebody write the grant. Even having somebody will make a donation of $3,000 so I could retain someone to write a grant for me would be amazing. But if you enjoy these messages coming to you and you enjoy, enjoy and appreciate the free materials I've given you and you consider making a donation, that'd be really appreciated. So I wish you God's love and Godspeed. Stay healthy and uh, thanks for tuning in.